Hello and good morning again. Um, this morning I want to take a look at uh, an instance where somebody is blessing someone else. Uh, and kind of what I talked about in the first video is that really it's impossible for you to uh, bless someone of your own power because even just blessing someone you are asking for God's blessing and or you are asking for God's favor. Um, so just remember that that it's nothing of your own power when when you bless someone and that said um i want to look at uh two different instances uh where uh, somebody is blessing someone else in in this case uh their children and their grandchildren uh so we see in the old testament uh in the story of isaac and jacob and esau uh that isaac uh, blesses Jacob and Esau. Uh, I'm not going to go over the whole stolen blessing story today, but I want to focus in on Isaac's part of that. So Isaac blessing his his children uh, for the future. And then I also want to look at uh, Jacob blessing his grandchildren. Uh, so jo uh, Joseph's children. Um, and so uh, there's actually a short couple of verses in the New Testament that I'm going to use for this because uh, it kind of summarizes it well and what I really want to focus on and what really what the the Bible really recognizes uh, these men for uh, one of the big things that they the Bible recognizes these men for um, for what they did uh, and I I don't know about you but I like pat, little parts of scripture that people usually skip over um, so uh, that said, let's go ahead and go to Hebrews chapter 11. This is the, the faith chapter of the Bible. Uh, but uh, I do believe it, it's kind of, when, when we talk about the faith chapter of the Bible, we talk about all these people that did these amazing things through faith. Uh, and we can kind of skip over a couple of them. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to verse 20 and 21. Um, and this is in chapter 11. And it says, By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. And by faith Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both of the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning, leaning upon the top of his staff. So this first one here, By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. Uh, what's awesome about this is these guys are included in, you know, the, these heroes of faith, these, these, uh, role models of faith for us, um, by simply blessing their children, uh, concerning the future. Um, uh, I do believe that Isaac here, when it talks about concerning things to come, he's, really leaning on the promises of God for the future, mainly the promise of the Messiah. Uh, and so you have, you have to understand that this is the whole um, line of Israel, the line that Jesus would eventually come from. Um, and so Isaac is asking for favor on his children on his, on his deathbed. And we may ask, you know, well, why is that such a great act of faith? Well, it's awesome because... Isaac is recognizing that the promises of God, right, and because of the promises of God, um, the best possible thing that he could give to his children is asking for God's favor upon them. Uh, it isn't that a, a beautiful thing there? And it's the same thing with Jacob. As he's dying on his deathbed, uh, he blesses them and worships. Uh, so... These men both re recognize through faith that the best thing that they can hope on their children and their grandchildren for the future is for God to have favor on them because they knew personally uh, God's promises for the future. And so they wanted they wanted this, God, keep using my family in this way. God, you know, have favor on my family. That's uh, That's a beautiful thing. And really what this says to us is, well, we have some promises too. Uh, we have promises that Jesus is going to come back. 
uh, and we have you know that that's an awesome promise right there uh, we have promises that through our salvation we're going to heaven and so we should really be always asking for God's blessing on our children uh, asking for God's favor on our children um, and recognize really that that's the best thing that we could give to them is uh, knowledge of a savior uh, the best thing that we could do for our children is lead them to Christ uh, you know we not setting up a trust fund or anything like that uh, I mean by all means plan for your child's future in that way but uh, just remember that, that above all of that you want your ch children to grow up in a in a home that uh, follows the Lord and uh, leans on his promises so with that I'm gonna go ahead and end this one uh, I hope you all are enjoying these little snippets of uh, blessings um, and I, I know I am so I will see you guys next time